Hi, I'm Melinda Van Fleet, and welcome to the Confident Conversations podcast. I'm an author, speaker, and success coach who helps women believe in themselves, build confidence, and take action. This podcast shares authentic and transparent, thought-provoking stories, tips, and tools from my experiences, as well as incredible guests, so you can continue to build your confidence and live your best life. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started on this confidence journey. Real quick before we begin, I am super excited about the release of my first book, Confidence Mastery for Couples, a roadmap to a more intimate relationship, and the book releases March 9th. Stay tuned for more about it and other confidence-related books that I will be releasing every three months, and there will always be a link in my show notes. Now on to the podcast. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me this week on Confident Conversations. Today, I wanted to share with you something that I have had to work on, and I still work on, (laughs) and that is getting my pictures taken. I grew up with a mom who was always like, don't take any pictures of me. Don't take any pictures of me. And As I got older, that really fed into how I felt about pictures. I felt really self-conscious. It made me really think about my teeth that I don't like, any other body parts, my arms, different things like that, right? And a couple years ago, when I decided to get into this space, I had my first photo shoot. So that was in December of 2018. I was a nervous wreck, to be honest with you. I was just a hot mess. And my poor photographer, she um, <laughs> she was very kind, but you could tell she was really struggling with dealing with me because I probably was like, um, you know, like rigor mortis, my not really moving with the camera, not really doing anything fun or exciting and, and giving her any great shots. And and you can tell, I mean, you can tell when I, when I look back at those pictures, I know which ones they are. And I, I can see that I'm very stiff and, um, just really, it was a really, really tough experience. And again, she was extremely kind. She kept saying, you know, you'll get more used to this as you keep having photo shoots. And at the time I thought, oh no, this is it. This is just one and done. Like I'm never doing this again. This has been painful. I've been mentally prepping for this day and now it's here and I'm not, doing a great job. Thank God I never had inspirations to be a fashion model because I am definitely not not uh, (laughs) cut out for this. But she was right. The second time we had a photo shoot, a couple months later, it was a little easier. I'm not going to say I was still the best by any means, but it was a little easier. I tried to ease into it, have a little bit more fun. That photo shoot ended up producing the thumbnail for the Good Karma Success Coach podcast, which is my other podcast. And that was just me looking at that statue and going, hey, Jeanette, take a picture. And I like gave the Buddha head a kiss. And it was just a one and done shot. And I ended up loving it. I thought it was fun and positive. And I made that into a thumbnail. So my second shot got a little easier. And I think today, because I'm going to be doing a photo shoot with my current photographer, Mary Griffin, today is going to be, I think, my fifth. I really have to count and go through my pictures. But it gets a little easier each time. And that's what I want to talk about because that is what confidence is, is continuing to take daily steps, or in my case, let's say every six months, taking steps forward and building your confidence. You know, when we have fear, fear is meant to make us think. So fear is our ego popping up and it's meant to make us think and stop and pause, but not stop to where we don't move forward at all. And that is what happens to people. They get so afraid and then they don't want to do it at all. 
And that's not what the purpose of fear is. Fear is meant to just keep you safe and give you some pause to think about something before you take another step. So growing up, circling back to my story about growing up with my mother, you know, the fact that she was doing that her whole life, going, no, don't take a picture of me, don't take a picture of me, you know, that fear, wherever that stemmed from, you know, wasn't really doing any service to her in the long run because she wasn't pushing forward. And then it obviously affected me, which uh, is, is always quite interesting when, as you get older, how you realize all these things that happened to you as a child or that you witness and um, how they affect you as you get older. It's, it's pretty fascinating, actually, but that's stuff for another podcast. So keep doing the scary thing. Keep taking a step every day towards your goals, towards whatever that is, right? Whether it's a relationship goal, whether it's some type of other personal development, something with your business, keep taking that step every day because it does get easier. It might not ever fully go away, that uncomfortable feeling, the stress, the anxiety, the worry, but it will get easier easier. And then eventually, you know, it might go away, which is fantastic. And then you'll kick yourself and go, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I ever felt that way. You know, for me, let's say someday I'll be like, oh, I can't believe that I was ever that, you know, concerned and worried about getting my picture taken. And now, and then it'll be like super easy. So I've I've come a long way and I am excited about my photo shoot today. I have a shot list, I have some different locations, and obviously the outfits and learning about the outfits and what looks good on camera is a huge piece of it. But start to break down why you're afraid. You know, for me, it was my weight, and I didn't want to look, um, you know, just uncomfortable or not very flattering in pictures. Flattering, I think, is a really good word. And also clothes, because I did learn that certain clothes photograph better than other clothes. Some things I thought, like my favorite top, I'm like, oh, this will be great. This top is awesome. It's my favorite top. And then when I look at the picture, I'm like, oh, this is just not good. (laughs) So, you know, so there's all these little things that might go into why you're afraid to move forward on something. And so when you start to break that down and solve each little piece, then that will help build your confidence so you can push through the fear and move forward. So um, just a little thought on that. And then one little other tip I want to share that I think is really important, and I've learned to do this over the years, and I definitely do this whenever I have a speaking event, whether it's virtual or in person, is I clear my calendar. I clear my calendar on that day and make sure that anything I have scheduled, if I couldn't clear it, is really easy and isn't going to cause me any additional stress or anxiety. So today, being that my photo shoot is at noon, you know, I really cleared my morning. I'm like, I just have this podcast to record. I can, it's just me. I just, you know, talk. It doesn't take me very long. So it's not a stressful situation unless I obviously have any tech issues, but so far so good, right? And, um, you know, I don't really have anything else on my plate this morning. I'm just really there to, um, you know, just get all my clothes together, make sure my hair looks good, you know, all these things that go into thinking about your photo shoot because you want it to work out really well. Is it, am I all organized? Do I have all the things in my car, any props that I want to take, a shot list? Uh, my book, I have that ready to go. You know, just really take your time and clear your calendar. So if you have something that's coming up that's stressful, it's causing you some anxiety, some fear, and it's an event, clear your calendar around it so you can just create space to be and just be in the flow and try to get through it as easy as possible. So I hope you like this podcast. I would love it if you shared with someone that could use it. We all deal with fear, like we all do. Anyone that tells you that they don't, I I would have to scratch my head on that. Yes, things get easier 
as you move through them, right? But sometimes you have to get uncomfortable first before you can get to that place where it's no big deal. So just remember that we all go through it. You are not alone. And I really hope that this podcast helps you become more confident. Feel free to reach out to me. My email is melinda at melindavanfleet.com. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, or Instagram. And my website is goodkarmasuccesscoach.com. So until next time, I hope you have a beautiful week. Thanks for listening.